All right, guys, I'm here to show you my kettle corn recipe. I know you guys have been asking about it, so here we go. Start to finish all the way through. That way you can make it at home. Now, we're talking kettle corn like they get from the state fair, some of the good stuff, okay? We can make it at home. It's super easy. So I'm going to show you what you're going to need. Uh, get yourself some corn oil or some vegetable oil, whatever you want. I mean, it's... It's not like a super specific science here we're dealing with. You get the, your corn oil, you're gonna want a quarter cup, a quarter cup of corn oil. You get yourself some, uh, some Jolly Time, just regular corn, uh, uh, it's a popcorn. Just, you, you don't gotta get the Redenbacher stuff. You don't gotta be spending $20 on this. Get this cheap stuff, you get a whole bag for like a couple, three, four, four dollars or something. Then get yourself a quarter cup of these. Just set it aside. Now this is, a, this is important here. Now uh, we got some sugar here. We got the brown sugar and we got just regular white granulated sugar here. Now you're gonna want two tablespoons of each. Now if you put a little extra in there, no one's gonna no one's gonna know the difference. It's gonna taste a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? The more sugar the better. So we already come on over here. We got now we got a little makeshift situation here. You gotta find what's gonna work for you. I got this uh, cheapo wok here. We used it about three times and it started even, uh, the, the non-stick started coming off already. This thing's real cheap, so we kind of do whatever we want with it. Get yourself a lid. Now this is all just mix mash of stuff here, you see? This doesn't even fit on there, you see? It doesn't even fit on there, you see? But I already got the thing heated up. Uh, I want to show you, so get it, get it heated, get it full blast heat. Go to the biggest, the biggest uh, thing you got here. Big heat, lots of heat. And just throw in your oil, your quarter cup of oil, just dump it in there, get that going. That's a like corn oil. <laughs> So you get that going. Usually I wouldn't separate all this, but we're doing a we're doing a high quality cooking show here. And then you got your kernels, just dump them in. Just let's just get it going here. Okay, get a little bit of this. Now throw the lid on. This is all in real time, no edits, okay? This is how fast this happens here. Now get your sugar ready, okay? You got your sugar ready. Now I mix it up a little bit. Make, make sure there's no big chunks, you know? Make sure it's real real nice. Sometimes that brown sugar wants to get a little chunky, you know what I'm saying? And, and I eat it and I start getting chunky, you know? <laughs> but here we go. Oh, we can see that it's popping already. I usually let it go and get a couple of them popping, you know? But here comes the real dangerous part here. We're about to expose ourselves to hot oil. About right, three, two, one, and go. Throw that in there. Well, you might get a couple jumpers. You just start moving it. Now it's hot, high heat. Now we got the sugar in there. See how fast that was? That was MLG style. Now just start going. You can hold the lid a little bit if you're brave. Hold the lid down, but you gotta keep it going. Get it mixing in there. It's a high heat situation. So it, we're starting to pop here. You throw the sugar in there, it cools it down for a little bit. But the reason you throw the sugar in there later is so it doesn't burn. Now we just, we just keep it moving. Here we go. It goes fast, you know? It's going. See, we're making kettle corn at home and it's fun. We're having fun. We got hot oil splashing all over the kitchen. You might want to wear your protective gear. Once it's just about done popping. Oh, it's going. It's still going. Still going. Okay, it's starting to slow down, so we take it off the heat. Take that off the heat. Now there's one step I forgot. I didn't I didn't have it laid out. We gotta get a cookie pan. Hold on. This is this is this is easy living. You get this? Okay, hold hold on a second. Get a thing of parchment paper. You lay that down. And you get this going here. Now you lay it out. Watch out, there could be a couple kernels will get you. Oh, that'll get you. Now we got it. Mm. Well. Might have burned some of it there. This, this is. And then we get the old popcorn salt. Throw that on there, just like this. Now it's gonna be a little mushy and wet right now. That's why we let it sit for a minute. Once it cools down, you always get a couple ones that are burned, you know, in there. Now, obviously, this is kind of a little bit of a smaller batch here, but you can increase the dosage if you want once you get the hang of it. So there we go. 
Don't, don't worry about the screaming kids. They're just excited for the kettle corn. Okay, then you just give it a little minute here. Give it a minute. Ooh, it's starting to crisp up real nice, real nice. Ooh. Yeah, a pretty small batch that I made here, so. And then you just, I mean, it's gonna be warm, but you can just start diving right in if you want. You know, maybe don't eat the ones that are full of cancer, but you can get on over here, and get yourself a nice, oh, it's so crunchy, too. Mmm. You guys want to play the games right the Ferris wheel? Feels like I'm at the state fair, huh? Oh man, this is living, you know? Get that right salt and sweet, tech, that flavor, and that good ratio. And nice and warm and crispy. Hey, I'm eating the popcorn. There it is, you get the caramelization. You get it just right, it's super crispy. Oh, you gotta try it. And, if you're a sim racer, I mean this is just this is just this is just this is just high octane high octane fuel. Get your faster laptop for sure. All right, there you go.